In a recent Explorers video, we took a look at the upcoming Ethereum merge, where Ethereum is upgrading its consensus layer, replacing the consensus method from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake. But what are consensus methods and why are they so important? Let's dive right in. In short, consensus methods are the mathematical processes that ensure that a distributed transactional network is processing the transactions in a secure, ordained manner. Consensus methods work with two complementary processes. One, protecting the network against civil attacks. And two, ensuring that transactions are recorded on the right blockchain. So in short, they work to keep the network safe. What's a civil attack? I'm glad you asked. A civil attack is an exploit against a network where a small number of entities try to take control of the entire network by leveraging multiple accounts, nodes, or computers. A few bad actors can run multiple nodes trying to control the transaction processing on a blockchain. Fun fact, the name Sybil alludes to a famous case study about multiple personality disorder. But back to blockchains. In crypto, the 51% attack is the most popular style of Sybil attack. It's called this because the attack on a blockchain is performed by a group of miners who control more than 50% of the network's mining hash rate. Attackers with majority network control can interrupt the recording of new blocks by preventing other miners from completing blocks. And if successful, can lead to manipulation of the ordering of transactions, prevent the confirmation of specific transactions, and allowing attackers to double spend their crypto assets. To protect the network from such attacks, blockchains use different civil resistance mechanisms which prevent the takeover by incentivizing network participants to reach consensus of the state of the blockchain by having skin in the game. Think of it like when you pay for an expensive gym membership. You go more frequently because you have more to lose if you don't. And rewarding participants with cryptocurrencies also known as block rewards, when they abide by the network rules, like when Scooby-Doo gets his Scooby snacks when fighting the bad guys, as well as punishing bad actors for their behavior by removing their access to the network. The most common civil resistance mechanisms in blockchains are proof of work, also known as POW, and proof of stake, also known as POS. Let's start with the similarities. In both mechanisms, the computer nodes on the network compete to be selected for the right to write the next block. Once selected, the node writes the next block on the chain that is determined by the chain selection rule of that blockchain, such as the longest chain on Bitcoin and Cardano and the heaviest chain on Ethereum and Conflux. Now, onto the differences between the two. How do you tell them apart? In proof of work, a node is selected to process the next transaction by solving a computational puzzle, sometimes with varying difficulty. The puzzle requires that the calculated hash value for each block must be equal to or smaller than the predetermined value. When a node reaches the target value, it broadcasts the block to other nodes, and all other nodes mutually confirm the correctness of the hash value. If the block is validated, other miners would append this new block to their own copy of the blockchain. The node gets rewarded with the block reward. This method protects the blockchain because it requires the attackers to expand computational power to produce a compromised block, which is a disincentive for miners to do so. In proof of stake, the nodes need to lock or deposit an amount of collateral before they can validate blockchain transactions. This is called staking. The more at stake, the higher is the probability of the node to be selected. And once selected, the node produces a new block of transactions and it's rewarded with a transactional fee. This is known as gas in the Ethereum language. This method protects the blockchain because the algorithm will slash the collateral in case the validating node tries to sign invalid blocks or the node is not available when chosen to do so. The use of POW or POS is largely dependent on the target use case for a particular blockchain, as every consensus mechanism has a different take to solve the blockchain trilemma. The blockchain trilemma is the conundrum faced by blockchains to address three challenges simultaneously – decentralization, security, and scalability. In the context of consensus mechanisms, POW will cater to use cases that require more security and decentralization 
like a cryptocurrency that's used for store of value, while POS will serve better for use cases that require scalability, like when processing self-custodial bank-like transactions. The shortcomings of POW is that it requires more computing power and therefore has a bigger carbon footprint and is not as scalable. The shortcomings of POS is that it's capital intensive and as with anything that involves capital, big whales could ultimately skew the network in their favor at a risk of having that capital slashed. Economically, it's much, much harder to fork a POW blockchain as the hash rate, the computing power needed to calculate the work puzzles, cannot be doubled. A forked POS blockchain would create double the stake tokens. Small POW networks tend to be more fragile to the 51% attacks, while it would require a lot of capital to 51% attack a POS network, however small. In short, it's all about the use case. Well, if you're participating in the blockchain market at any capacity, it is imperative that you understand what lies behind the chosen infrastructure, as it can have direct implications on what you're building. It is also important to know your own requirements for security, scalability, and decentralization, as different blockchains will handle it in different ways, influencing design decisions and ultimately the end results. While proof of work and proof of stake are currently hogging the spotlight, they're not the only consensus methods that exist. There's also proof of authority, proof of burn, proof of elapsed time, proof of history, proof of space, and many others. But as always, do your own research. In the meantime, stay rare, stay weird. LFG.